Sweden's decision to procure a new suite of sensors and command and control systems from Saab marks a significant acceleration in the country's post-NATO air defense modernization, and the scale of the contract reflects more than just another technical upgrade. At roughly $220 million, the investment is clearly aimed at rebuilding a land-based air defense network that, for decades, was allowed to diminish after the end of the Cold War. Today, with Sweden seated formally inside NATO and facing an increasingly complex security landscape around the Baltic Sea, the reconstitution of an autonomous, mobile, and integrated air defense layer at the brigade level becomes central not only to national defense but also to the resilience of the alliance's northern flank. The new package, anchored around Saab's LSSLV command suite and the Giraffe family of 3D radars, seeks to close long-standing gaps between surveillance, decision-making, and engagement, tightening the entire sensor-to-shooter chain and giving Swedish ground forces a more agile means of countering modern low-altitude threats such as drones, cruise missiles, and helicopters. At the heart of this modernization lies the LSSLV, a command and control architecture already delivered in earlier phases of Sweden's modernization program. This system is the digital glue of the project, it consolidates radar data, distributes targeting information, assigns threats to available firing units, and maintains situational awareness across the brigade. Unlike older systems designed for static or slow-moving formations, LSSLV is built for mobility. It can operate dispersed across large areas, shift locations rapidly, and remain functional under electronic pressure, all traits essential in a battle space where counter-battery fire, loitering munitions, and electronic warfare are ever-present risks. In practice, this gives Swedish brigades the ability to conduct air defense missions autonomously while still being fully linked to the National Air Defense Network and NATO-compatible structures. It eliminates long reaction loops and reduces the risk of multiple units firing on the same target, making brigades both faster and more efficient in their air defense engagements. A central element of the package is the Giraffe 1X radar, a compact 3D AESA system operating in the X-band. Though small, its performance is optimized for the modern battlefield. With a surveillance range of around 75 kilometers, full 360-degree coverage, and a rotation rate of up to 60 revolutions per minute, it is exceptionally responsive to low-altitude, fast-moving, and hard-to-detect threats. These include mini UA versus, which are now widely used for reconnaissance, artillery spotting, and attack missions. Mounted on light vehicles, the Giraffe 1X can relocate and redeploy in minutes, contributing directly to the survivability of Swedish radar assets. Its resistance to jamming adds another layer of protection, essential as electronic warfare proliferates across all domains, especially in Europe. When networked into the LSSLV architecture, multiple Giraffe 1X units can generate a fused, coherent air picture, giving commanders near real time data and enabling rapid coordination with firing units such as the RBS 70 NG short range air defense system. While the Giraffe 1X addresses the short-range layer, Sweden is also taking steps to strengthen continuity between short-dash, medium-dash, and long-range detection. The contract includes a dedicated study on integrating the Giraffe AMB radar into brigade structures. This C-band radar is capable of detecting targets at around 120 kilometers and tracking hundreds of objects simultaneously. It fills a crucial gap between existing national networks and the tactical radars deployed at brigade level. High refresh rates and strong elevation coverage mean the AMB can detect fast-moving or terrain mask threats, an essential capability for identifying cruise missiles or aircraft using low-altitude approaches to evade detection. Integrating AMB radars into the brigade layer does more than extend range, it creates a more resilient detection chain, reducing the likelihood of blind spots and ensuring that Swedish commanders maintain continuous awareness in contested airspace. The combined improvements highlight a clear shift in Swedish doctrine. During the early 2000s, Sweden, like many European states, deprioritized heavy land-based air defense. But Russia's annexation of Crimea, its militarization of the Kaliningrad region, 
and its full-scale invasion of Ukraine have forced Stockholm to reassess vulnerabilities. The new system support a distributed posture where sensors, command nodes, and firing units remain dispersed, mobile, and difficult to target. They also enhance the country's industrial autonomy, Saab, long a cornerstone of Sweden's defense ecosystem, is supplying NATO interoperable systems that still retain Swedish operational preferences. This blend of national customization and alliance-level integration is key to how Sweden intends to operate inside NATO, self-reliant but fully connected. The strategic implications extend beyond Sweden's borders. Together with Finland, Sweden now anchors the northern flank of NATO, controlling access to the Baltic Sea and forming a continuous defense corridor stretching from Norway across the Scandinavian peninsula to the Baltic states. Integrated air defense is a critical pillar of that corridor. As Russian air power and missile forces remain active in the region, the ability of Nordic states to detect, classify, share, and engage air threats becomes essential to deterrence. The new contract reinforces Sweden's role in that ecosystem, enhancing joint situational awareness and providing more consistent air defense coverage over the northern theater. In a conflict scenario, where cruise missiles, drones, and electronic warfare would dominate the first phase of any engagement, Sweden's strengthened capabilities would help ensure that NATO forces maintain operational tempo and avoid early losses. Ultimately, the new Saab systems represent more than just an upgrade of radar hardware or command software. They shape a new operational philosophy for Swedish brigades, one based on mobility, autonomy, and resilience. By tightening the loop between surveillance and engagement, Sweden is building an air defense posture capable of responding to rapid, multidirectional threats while remaining deeply integrated with NATO structures. This contract is another step in Sweden's transformation from a neutral nation with limited ground-based air defense to a frontline NATO member contributing to the stability of the northern flank. It strengthens Sweden's ability not only to defend its own territory but also to support regional partners, reinforcing a collective deterrence posture at a time when the security of the Baltic and the broader Nordic region is under unprecedented strain.